Um, have you wondered if you go in a herd of God or you moved a herd of God? I have had to do that a lot of times. I've had to do that a lot of times. And um, this is one thing I realized. Like um, one thing is that um, to what you need to have peace. So whatever decision you made, if you don't have peace with it, then you probably moving ahead of God. And whatever you're doing, if it does not line up with the word of God, you're probably um, moving ahead of God. Um, or whatever you did. If maybe right now there's a lot of confusion surrounding you, there's no peace, maybe you moved ahead of God. Um, why do I say that? Um, you, you, first of all, we definitely need to inquire from God before we move. God wants us to inquire from Him. So whatever thing you're doing, you want to pray. And um, sometimes you may be lucky. God will reveal certain things to you in dreams. Sometimes through people, there will be confirmation through people that, hey, this is it. Like, oh, you, you oh, sometimes just, there's this still voice telling you, this is it, and at, at the pitch of your stomach, you know this is what I'm supposed to do, and this is the time I'm supposed to do. And you are at peace with it, although there might be a lot of people around you, around you, sorry, around you telling you that, no, don't do it, don't do it. You, you just have this peace within you that this is what you're supposed to do. So, um, peace is definitely one thing, or maybe, um, God promised you like Abraham and Sarah, God promised them children, it was not happening. So they tried to take matters in their own hands and try to have a child their own way. And we know what happened, there was discord after that act um, where Sarah uh, telling Abraham, send them away and whatnot. So maybe it could be that maybe there were a lot of people around you warning you that which this way you're going, that's not the right way, don't go that way. But you still went ahead and did it. And afterwards, there's a whole lot of destruction. There's a whole lot of discard. Okay. Yeah, maybe you're at that place right now. Don't be ashamed to admit that I was wrong. Don't be ashamed. Well, it could be that maybe, you, like, there's somebody that you were like, ah, so this person will have the opportunity to say that, oh, I told you so. Hey, let them say I told you so. Admit it. Okay, I was wrong. Ask for forgiveness of things. And ask for God's direction. And he's going to lead you to... Be great and better things so don't be ashamed to admit that i was wrong it's okay with be okay with that and sometimes to um if that it just does not line up with the word of god you were moving ahead of god like abraham and sarah god promised them children but he did not say they should take matters in their own hands or maybe like with us let's say our lives run right now let's bring it to the 20th century um God has promised us marriage, God has promised us children, but that does not mean we should go ahead and have children out of wedlock, um, be promiscuous and have children out of wedlock. I had a child out of wedlock. God has promised me children, God has promised me um, a family, but God did not say I should go against his word to be, be able to accomplish that. So if whatever you're doing is against the word of God, let's say it's fornication, you're going against the word of God, you are not in alignment with the will of God, you're not, you're going, to, you definitely went ahead of God. So the word of God is one thing you have to know that whatever you're doing has to match up with the word of God and you definitely need to have peace. And about the, like the, there'll be a time you, you're so certain, but unfortunately people around you, everybody is a naysayer telling you, hey, you are not ready yet. You should not do it, blah, blah, blah. And we know a lot, even with ourselves, fear can stand in the way of a lot of things. You want to do a lot of things, but fear of failure, you're not able to do it because of your fear of failure. So you're not able to do it, but be okay with the chance of making, maybe I could fail, but I still need to take the risk because a lot of things for you to be successful, you need to take risk. You need to take risks. You should be open to take risks. And you should be okay with failing. And if um, David had listened to the people around him, he would not have thrown that stone. He would not have thrown that stone because like people, they're selling him, we have armors and whatnot, and we haven't been able to face Goliath. And you, a small boy with a stone, you're going to face Goliath. Had he not listened to that thing at the pit of his stomach and known what God can do through him and not throwing that stone, maybe the... the um, Goliath would have made pancakes with the Israelites, but David knew his God, listened to that um, in a still voice, and that certainty he had at the pit of his stomach, and he moved. So hey, you may have naysayers. I've had to, um, like, I've I've made some moves where people are like, oh, you're not ready, you should not do it, blah 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 blah. But I had this certainty at the pit of my stomach. I had this peace within, so I still moved. And I, still, I, I, I do believe that like it, in moving, uh, I wasn't going ahead of God because 
It did not go against the word of God. So even though um, there might be naysayers, don't take it as a sign that um, God does not approve of it. Because like whatever it is, the enemy might still be um, fighting against for whatever it is, for the accomplishment of whatever it is. One other thing is that um, things will line up. Things will line up. Um, there will be destiny helpers and whatnot. Okay, let's say um, with um, Mary and Joseph, God told them that they should go um, to um, Bethlehem. Um, when they went, they were able to get a stable and they were able to deliver. It wasn't a hospital, it wasn't a posh place, but there were still destiny helpers. There were still people along the line that helped them make sure that whatever God had told them come to pass. So in that, they know they knew that they were um, not going ahead of God. They were moving behind God. They were following the directions of God. So you could be lucky through dreams, just like um, in the Bible, some people were warned through dreams. Um, Mary and Joseph, they were warned a lot of times through dreams to go to Egypt and whatnot uh, so maybe three dreams but maybe not that maybe just the still voice or this certainty at the pit of your stomach that no matter what is happening around you you know and you do and you know and you know you got to do what you're supposed to do or you know and you know that whatever it is you're doing you, you um you're doing the right thing so those are some of the things that you should be help you know that I'm not moving ahead of God and let you be at peace so peace the word of God and maybe things lining up, destiny helpers, and things lining up. So above all, we should seek ye first the kingdom of God, and all other things shall be added unto us. And hey, we're going onward and upward, and God's glory will shine. God, God's glory will be seen through us because we're going onward. And we're going on upward. So, hey, you see those necklines? Oh, I love it a lot. Oh, let me take the hair back so you can see you. Uh-huh, yeah. Information about that is going to be below. I like it. This is an old dress, so we're not going to talk about this old dress. But this necklace, I think, is, is unique as attached to my outfit. So I'm going to have, um, yeah, do you see it? Yeah, that's nice. That's cute. Yeah, information about that is going to be below. And like I said, onward and upward. Peace out.